Don't be surprised. Hi guys, welcome back. Oh my god, I'm so distracted. Okay, so uh, those of you following me on Insta would know this hair transformation that I had. Literally, it's not a transformation. It's just that I, I chopped my, you know, like I got like few curly bangs in front of my hair. This is actually my actual hair. So I didn't do anything with that. I just took a shower now. So yeah, uh, thank you. I, so uh, yeah, forget it. Um, Welcome back. I know it's been a while um, since I made videos because I was kind of busy with certain other things. Um, I have this internship going on which is uh, which actually takes up most of my time and the travel and then when I come back I'm just really tired and I don't want to make a video. The last thing I want to do is like you know sit in front of the camera and talk and all that but I also want to do like I also want to take my um, YouTube seriously so I thought I should I should I should come up with a schedule to you know um, try and make everything work and also not slack off with my YouTube channel and stuff like that so here I am I'm also going to be more consistent um, in my channel on my channel okay I'm gonna make a video on that so um hi guys hope you're all doing good Welcome to the hippie spirit. Let's get into the video. Okay, so I decided to take this topic as my topic. I decided to take this subject as my topic today because I think it's really important for for people to 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 communicate and network um, because it it makes a lot of difference uh, when you. When you are trying to do something, trying to, you know, get access to something and getting more info into um, anything that you want to do. So um, I want to give this example of uh, me and my, again, my INBDE preparation. But this video is also on a different context. It's not just for people preparing for exams, but also for other people who are you know who basically want to do everybody is doing something that they want to do and they are striving towards getting things done it could be anything you know it could be an exam it could be into a profession it could be something related to if you're a musician you're doing something uh, you know it may be to get into a band or you know things like that so I think communication is really important when it comes to anything in life uh, not like in I'm not talking about in personal life or relationships I'm talking about in general so um, while I was doing my INBD preparation of course you are like you are completely kind of cut off from uh, from the rest of the world and you are sitting with your books and everything and that's it uh, so that's when i before that you know uh i knew that communication is important and everything but i'll give you just the inbd uh exam preparation example so i got in touch so what i used to do is like reach out to people i used to follow um pages on Facebook and on, on INBD preparation. I used to join every other WhatsApp group where people, you know, read for INBD and I used to like even on Reddit and everywhere I could Instagram. I used to try and connect with people. What I used to do was um, on Facebook and also Instagram and WhatsApp. I used to reach out to people and ask them, hey, I'm giving this INBD exam. And I also used to keep a track on, on WhatsApp, like on the people who have given the exams and then reach out to them, asking them if they finished their exam. Like yesterday, I would like call them today or tomorrow or even text them, not call them, like text them and then call them if they're ready to talk. Um, call them and ask them, you know, how was the exam? Like, what were the questions that they asked you? Well, what, what are the subjects that you should concentrate on? Because you have to be in the trend, right? You have to, you should know well, what's going to be asked and you, ha you, sh you have to have an idea, right? So that really helped me. I know a lot of people who don't talk 
uh, to others who don't because they think if they oh if you're just telling them that oh i'm giving the inbd you don't want to give that information out that oh i'm giving the inbd so if i fail i'm mean, it's going to look bad on me so why talk to anybody i don't think that's a good idea it's okay if if you don't if you don't get the inbd it's fine you you do it again right you give give it a shot again so but you shouldn't stop yourself from not letting people not i'm not asking you to go tell everybody that you given an nbd or everybody that oh i'm pursuing this and um, i need help or all that or put a story on instagram or something no i'm not asking you to do that i'm asking you to find out the kind of people who could help you and um talk to them let them know whatever you know they might learn certain things from you right and you would learn a lot from them so i've had this friend called praveen big shout out to praveen he was my friend uh he was i mean we were like state strangers like literally <laughs> we uh got connected through whatsapp a whatsapp group uh, where we had all the students around 400 people giving exams inbd exam and then we texted and we he was giving his nbd part 2 so we were in touch and we used to also do we used to call and you know combine study and stuff like that he was like a study partner to me for like few few months but then i moved to the us and our time zones changed and then we couldn't really catch up with all that but we were in touch so he used to give me a lot of ideas on how to read and how to retain things and you know how to deal with your stress and the things he went through or you know when he gave his nbd part 1 exam and oh my god the kind of things that he went through was like oh my god when i heard that i was like oh this happens to people you know so it's not just me so all that really helps and uh there has there have been other friends also who's helped me a lot during my preparation so i'm just giving you the inbd exam because exam example because uh, that's like my personal experience right so yeah uh when i was back in india i never i never had this uh you know communicating with people and um talking trying to talk to them and you know gain as much as knowledge from from the things that you want to know about from people i didn't have that mentality you know i didn't have that attitude uh to do that but um it's when i was working uh i worked as a dentist um in cochin for like uh one year one like maybe less than a year so um uh i was working in this amazing clinic um dental office called raj krishnan's dental clinic most of my followers on insta or most of my dentist friends would know his practice is one of the most successful practicing practitioners in 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 cochin and at, at least i think in i think one of the best among the three best of the best in india i guess so that's what i've heard so um i learned a lot of things when i was practicing at rajkrishan's uh, clinic uh, drdc is what we used to call the clinic dr rajkrishan's dental clinic drdc he used to be like a mentor to to all the you know uh, the dentists we were like three to four dentists working under him working with him and it wasn't easy <laughs> he used to literally you know uh in the process of teaching you know he used to, like he used to be very like uptight and but also a very good friend he used to have like talk we sit and we have this morning meeting happening every morning uh you discuss the cases and you you uh you know have all your, your team together and you discuss you have this one round of discussion on what patients uh do we have that day and what are the things that we need to you know to see the for certain appointments and if we have everything so everybody collaborates like uh all the uh staff and the doctors and even the the receptionist and everybody like sits together and we discuss we discuss on what's to be done in a particular day so uh so he is this person who taught us the importance of connecting and communicating with people and networking in you know in particular networking big thanks to him uh, when i make this video so uh that's when i learned that 
networking is really important you talk to people you have to find out your niche there would be people there will be a lot of things that you don't know about something you think you know everything of instead of just keeping everything to yourself and not um asking for help or asking someone um about what this thing is you should always reach out and talk to them and try and gain as much as you can from people and trust me people are approachable you know you might think they're not they might not help or you might be wasting their time but there could be some people like that but that shouldn't be something that's stopping you from doing it the last thing that i want to tell you guys is when you reach out to people for communication and trying to get information from them reflect on yourself you know just ask yourself if you are an approachable person being approachable is very important um because after my exam when people reach out to me on instagram or whatsapp or even youtube i make it a point to give them as much information as possible because one point from you could help them like could go a long way in helping them you know change their uh, the method of study or their the the attitudes towards reading or anything that they are struggling from so before you reach out to people and try and get information from others you please make sure that you are an accessible person and you give out as many information as possible to the best of your knowledge because what goes around comes around so uh, you don't want to be a jerk yeah so that's all for today's video guys and i hope you like the video and consider subscribing and also share my video with someone you think is going to be gaining from this one take care take care bye bye and stay safe